this place is a safe space for me. Okay. It allows me to decompress, compartmentalize, just relax my mind, relax my body, relax my soul. And that's what the, the city of Louisville does for me personally. That is how Louisville great Harry Douglas feels whenever he comes back to this city. But he did plenty to earn some love while wearing a Louisville uniform. It is why the former Cardinal wide receiver will join other program greats in seeing his number honored tomorrow. And as the Georgia native returns to his home away from home to see the cards take on Georgia Tech, he says this honor is something he always wanted. Growing up, you dream of situations and things like this and tomorrow my dream becomes a reality. Harry Douglas talks to his two children about the importance of leaving a legacy. And make no mistake, he did that at the University of Louisville. This place allowed me to grow and become part of the man that I am today. And, 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 I, and I take pride in that. The ESPN analyst still holds the single game receiving record for the cards while ranking second in program history for career yardage. His 10 receptions for 165 yards helped lead U of L to an Orange Bowl victory over Wake Forest. And all that came after the Cardinal coaching staff didn't even attend one of his high school football games. I think they came to majority of my, my basketball games. Okay. And Greg Nord at the time, um, I remember one game he came to basketball wise, I remember I had dunked on someone and he was like, oh man, you gotta come to Louisville. Came up here on my visit and, and I committed. What followed was a familiar learning curve for any athlete moving from high school to college football. My first training camp, oh man. I went in that locker room, I was seeing Tweety Bird and I told myself I gotta hurry up and get home so I can just go to sleep and take a nap. No one was going to sleep on the smaller wideout and everyone was going to know who he was. I never was shy about anything. If someone had an issue, I'm the type of person I, I want you to, to directly contact me. And I always spoke my mind. I'm very opinionated and, you know, I'm not, I'm unapologetic about that as well. So that, that's what makes me me. But I think my personality and my beliefs in the city of Louisville mesh together. Yes. And it was a great thing. Now the Kentucky Pro Football Hall of Famer gets to celebrate that connection with Cardinal fans. Thank all of y'all for embracing a kid from the south side of Atlanta, Jonesboro, Georgia, Clayton County. All five, eight, 125 pounds of me <laughs> at the time and, and, and believing uh, in me, always supporting me and my family. I thank y'all, I love y'all, I cherish y'all. Y'all will always be number one in my heart. Go Cards. Yeah, you can see that full discussion we had on WDRB.com. Just what a great guy, great analyst, too. I mean, you can tell he's a talker. I think he was kind of made for TV and radio, right? No kidding. And uh, <laughs> what a great career he had and just what a great man he's become. And I guess probably already all this has been. Yeah, no, absolutely. And it's cool for him, too, because playing Georgia Tech, I mean, he's an Atlanta guy. Uh, through and through. So I think all this just kind of came together the way it should uh, for a guy who contributed to this program the way he did. All right. Thanks, Tyler. No problem.